Pag binanggit natin Redmi, the first thing that comes into our mind is affordable. The best specs possible. And the cheapest possible price na mabibili natin with the highest specs possible in the market. Okay? So, it's always like that. Okay? When pinag-uusapan natin about Redmi. And right now, it's another good phone na i-review natin today. It's probably the lowest variant. No? The the most affordable variant ng Redmi Note 11 series. And yes, you guessed it right. Hawak natin here is the Redmi Note 11. So naglabas si Xiaomi no ng tatlong variant. Redmi Note 11, 11S, and 11 Pro 5G which is going to be available here in the Philippines. So how about buksan natin to? So hi guys, I'm si Richmond ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So yes, we rise to the challenge and today, papakita ko sa inyo no, kung gano ka okay tong phone na ito. After the end of this video, we will be probably deciding kung ito nga ba ang maging next na daily driver nyo or you might want to go higher dito sa series na ito. So tara, buksan natin and of course, ito ang box natin. No? It's almost similar to any Redmi Note na series no Note 10 uh, Note 9 halos ganun din no yung box niya is puti and of course andiyan ang kanyang ano no yung itsura ng phone niya now pagbukas natin ng phone meron siyang maliit na sleeve inside so pagbukas natin nito kita natin it's powered by Redmi and of course pagbukas natin andiyan ang kanyang SIM ejector pin and meron tayo tatlong manual okay so kita natin dito meron tayo tatlong manual as well as a Jelly case. Pulling the film off from the phone, kita natin na this is the Redmi Note 11. Ganito, itsura niya, no? It's almost the same as the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. Except that yung camera niya, flat lang siya, no? Hindi katulad ng Note 5G, Note 11 5G, no? Dalawang step siya. Mas makapal ang bump ng 108MP na, ano, no? Na main camera sensor. Ito, hindi. Flat na flat siya. It has a 50MP, no? Na camera sensor. Which, of course, sabi natin, uh, for that price range, no? So guys, wala pa idea ko anong price nito phone nito, no? Kasi itong video na to is shot before February 10, which is the official uh, Philippine launch, no? Nito phone na ito. And kita natin, no? Sa ilalim, meron siyang loudspeaker, Type-C port, and of course, yung microphone in. Then sa gilid, meron siyang SIM tray which can host 2 nano SIM and 1 micro SD card slot. Sulit, di ba? And of course, sa ibabaw, nandiyan pa kanyang 3.5mm audio jack, guys. Sa mga mahilig sa music, okay na okay to. Nandiyan pa ang audio jack. Then of course, there's another loudspeaker here, no? making it two. Meaning, stereo speaker na siya. Then of course, IR and another microphone here, which is the noise cancelling mic. And on the other side, meron siyang ano, no? fingerprint scanner, which for me, okay siya. No? Flat na flat. Parang halos hindi mo feel na it's a fingerprint scanner. Then, it, at the same time, power button din siya. No? Then, dito sa taas, and kanyang volume rocker. Of course, further inside the box, meron siyang 33 watts na fast charger as well as a USB Type-C cable na orange ang dulo. Now, okay, so much for the unboxing. Hawag na natin ngayon mismo yung unit na Redmi Note 11 na base variant, no? Tawag natin, no? Uh, it's really small, okay? So, hindi siya usual na note na mga 6.6, 6.7 inch, no? This one is a little bit smaller. Now, uh, pansin ko, no, si Xiaomi is trying to go a little bit smaller uh, with yung mga latest release nila, no? Uh, like six, ito, 6.43, which is, mm, mm, well, okay. Uh, what I like about this one, no, is yung abot na abot mo ang, ang dulo, no, when you're using a uh, one-hand typing. For me, ako okay sa akin to, no? Kasi I always use one-hand in typing, hindi ang mahilig mong dalawang kamay. Uh, kadalasis ng kamay ko lang when, especially when I'm doing something with my left hand yung kanan ko is also typing maybe multitasking tawag natin doon no? yung phone na ito is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 it's a 4G chip and of course uh, 6 nanometer siya no? yung size nitong chip na ito and inside it is a octa-core na processor which can run as fast as 2.4 gigahertz. So guys, ang mga variant available dito no is as low as 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, and as high as 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. 
okay, di ba? Meron siyang tatlong color. Well, kita natin dito sa likod ng screen ko. Marami tayo pagpipilian, no? Pearl white, star blue, and graphite gray na meron ko dito sa aking kamay. So guys, sinilip natin ang benchmark dito sa phone nito. And what more can I use kundi Antutu, no? I have here the version 9.2.6, no? And nakakuha tayo ng 200... 39,000 points, no? which of course, uh, well, na somewhere nandun lang ang capability na itong chip na ito, no? Snapdragon 680. And of course, uh, it's just a benchmark. Alam naman natin, no? So, uh, everyday usage, so sabi ko, it's almost a week here on my studio. Ginagamit ko naman siya, no? Smooth and easy to use. Very masarap siya sa mata, no? And what I like about this one is, ang multitasking na binibigay ko sa niya on a day-to-day -day basis, no? Okay, kaya naman natapos nila ng multitasking, no? Walang no question asked. And, of course, uh, doing all your regular tasks, no? Tawag, social media, camera, pictures, and of course, uh, playing some games, no? Which, pag-usapan natin later. Okay na okay siya, no? And, well, it performed sa, sa studio ko without a hitch. And, as, of course, as expected, yung mga 6 series naman ni Qualcomm no is a good chip. Of course, iba naman ang usapan no when you uh, pinag-uusapan natin yung 7 series. Of course, it's a little bit better than the 6 series as always. Now, of course, syempre gusto natin malaman kung anong specs meron no ng screen na ito. And all I can say is that it's a AMOLED display no at 6.43 inch. And of course, 90 Hz screen refresh rate. Definitely, it's ano no, it's a game changing no for yung mga series na ganito no. Normally mga ganito 60 hertz lang naman siya. Pero si Xiaomi it packs in a lot more. So Xiaomi was able to ask no uh, survey. Ko ano mas prefer ng mga tao no kung 60 hertz ay yung refresh rate or yung display no kung IPS LCD or AMOLED yun ang pinapipilian no. And si Xiaomi kinumbay niya both no. Grabe, uh, ang lahat, I think most uh, respondent, they want a AMOLED display. More than a refresh rate, no? of course, yung display. AMOLED, alam naman natin, eh, black is blacker, mas malinaw, mas okay sa mata. But, Xiaomi was able to combine both of them in this smartphone. Definitely, panalo yan for the consumers. And of course, protected din siya ng Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Of course, kahit hindi naman siya 5, no? well, 3 is still okay. So one thing na napansin ko dito no is yung bezel na sa lalim, medyo makapal. At on the sides, okay naman siya, hindi sobrang kapal, medyo symmetrical naman siya on top and on the side. Pero sa ilalim niya, sa baba niya, mas makapal ang bezel niya sa chin. Now itong phone na ito is weighing at just 179 grams. Definitely masasabi ko sa guys, quite quite light no itong phone na ito. And kahit magaan siya no, it packs in a lot of punch dito, lalo pag when it comes to gaming. Now, tinay ko mag-game no dito sa phone na ito, playing Call of Duty as usual my favorite game no. So, ito ang mga settings sa Kainari Anda. Now, tinay ko siya is set on all high settings na maximum na kain nito. Now, the experience was not that good, okay? So, this is a real talk. Now, uh, medyo naglalag siya and nakita no, papansin ko talaga frame drops. Nauuna na tumakbo ng mga kalaban and ako parang naiwan na ako. And of course, there are times na parang uh, hindi ko napansin, parang nag-raise quality ang screen ko. May may patay na ako, no? After mga split one second. In just a split second, ha? Na na-sniper na ako. So sabi ko, take, ha? Babaan natin settings. So, nilagay ko lahat sa medium frame rate and medium graphic settings. That was able to solve, no? Naging smooth ang gameplay ko. Of course, of course syempre, we all want to use the best setting possible sa phone. But of course, dito sa Call of Duty Mobile, medium graphic, medium frame rate, yun mas yun ang pinaka optimal setting siya no? to be able to play it smoothly. So the gameplay went good and yung frame drop so halos hindi ko na masyado napapansin at that minimal settings. And of course, yung yung screen niya was able to respond to every touch I made and the loudspeaker is surprisingly loud. Now. There are some mga phones sa mga pricing siya ganito on the Note 11 level. Now. Medyo parang mahina but ito Pansin ko, no? Uh, sinagad ko ang loudspeaker niya doon sa gameplay. Ang hindi ko, lakas ng tunog ng mga gunshots niya. Which is definitely delighting, no? Sa mga gamers like me. Uh, giving me the experience of... Kasi when you're playing Call of Duty, gusto marinig mga, mga naglalakad na 
na matumatakbo sa left, matumatakbo sa right. Para alam mo kung there's somebody coming from the left or right. Para makapag-abang ka, no? Na maayos. And of course, uh, given na it's an AMOLED display, this display really nice. And I really uh, enjoy it at this optimal setting, so. Of course, yung high settings, maliado. And one surprise na napansin ko dito, no? Is binigyan siya ng level 1 na wideband security dito sa DRM Info, no? And of course, it means na pwede ka manood ng mga... HD dito sa phone na ito, no? Of course, syempre sa Netflix, it's a big deal to some of us na mahilig man ng Netflix or na HD na settings, no? Of course, uh, watching some videos here, yung sabi na siya, guys, it's really nice, no? Smooth sa mata, 90Hz screen refresh is definitely a plus over 60Hz, no? Bakita natin talaga pag 60Hz, para na sa starter phone eh, kasi pag sanay ka sa mga high refresh rate na phone, nabuha ba ka sa mga 60Hz, mapapansin para Eh, si Sir, parang bitin, parang nabibitin yung, yung, yung ano, no? pag-scroll mo, lalo pag yung nagtatransition, no? parang tumatalon. Wearing at 90 or 120 hertz, no? magpansin mo, parang ang smooth. Parang yung tubig na dumadaloy lang. No? Tawag nila silky smooth. And of course, this was able to give me that nice experience, be it uh, browsing on Facebook, watching some videos here. Okay na okay, black is blacker and really punchy ang colors dito sa phone na ito. Now, napag-usapan na natin mga gusto natin malaman, no? On gaming, okay naman, no? Uh, as long as huwag ko may sasagad, okay naman tong phone na ito in terms of gaming. Nakapag-enjoy naman ako. Then, sa multitasking, everything went smoothly. And right now, it's time to reveal yung performance na itong camera na ito, which is the 50MP na main camera sensor na meron dito sa Redmi Note 11. Siyempre, meron din siyang supporting cast, no? Apat ang camera na ito, it's a quad camera setup. Meron siyang 8MP na ultra-wide lens, 2MP na macro lens, and of course, 2MP na depth sensor. Ang video recording niya can run as high as 1080p, 30fps, which is pareho lang sa Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. And harap niya is a 13MP na front selfie camera. Tara, tingnan natin no, ilang camera shots no, dito sa phone na ito. I took it outdoors and indoors. Tingnan natin no, kung gaano ka okay nga ba 50MP camera na ito. No? Does it matter na mataas ang MP count? Mas maganda ang camera shots? Well, tingnan natin. So guys, nakita natin yung mga camera sets dito. Mga outdoors are definitely okay. Pero there are some shots dito na kinuha natin indoor, no? Medyo madilim. Medyo nahirapan ng camera na ito. Uh, given na medyo low light, medyo nahirapan ang, ang mag-perform tong camera niya, no? And of course, uh, sa kanyang front selfie shooter, same din, no? When you have a well-lit na background, okay, Mali maliwanag, maayos ang mga shots. Very decent ang mga selfie shots. But, when it comes to medyo dark, no? Sa loob ng coffee shop, medyo mas madilim konti, it suffers a bit. Eh, makita natin, no? There are some shots dito na nakuha ko. Medyo madilim nga mukha ko, no? Kasi nahirapan mag-adjust ang camera niya sa ilaw. <music>
Now, tinry din natin siya for vlogging, no? On outdoors. Well, masasabi ko siya medyo matagtag nga lang tong camera na to, no? Be it on the front or at the back. Medyo shaky, no? So, I think wala siyang EIS. Uh, so, I highly suggest, no, na magkaroon kayo ng gimbal para ma-maximize yung camera. Okay naman camera na, no? Was able to take in some good videos. But, ang downside na talaga is wala siyang EIS to make yung transition mo smooth kahit bare hands lang kamay mo, no? Wala. Dalagang kailangan mo ng support from a gimbal. Isang phone na ito, despite na magaan siya, no? 179 grams, like I told you, meron siyang battery, no? Na industry standard. 5,000 mAh of battery. Supporting up to 33 watts na fast charging. Now, uh, I know na gusto natin as fast as possible mag-charge. Lalo na kung people like you, like me, always on the go. Uh, yung tipong kailangan mo mag-charge siya in the shortest possible time para makapag-alis ka na. No? Of course, syempre, iba naman kwento kung makapagdala ka ng power bank na mo sa backpack mo. Okay din yun. But, uh, with ano, technology like yung mga bago, no? you want to charge your phone as fast as possible. Deny naman natin no, ang battery nito. Down to 13%, sinarge ko pabalik ng 100%. No? And using, of course, yung kanyang default cable and charger galing sa out-of-the-box. One hour, natapos tayo, no? Charging. Which is, yun din almost ang commitment ni Xiaomi, no? From 0 to 100, kaya niya matapos in 60 minutes. Na-achieve naman natin, no? As promised ni Xiaomi. Kasi itong 6-series ni Qualcomm is always known to be battery-efficient na series, no? Uh, dating back from 632 down to yung mga later na, ano, no? Na chips from Qualcomm, no? Which is with the 6-series, no? It's always been, na uh, ano siya, performer as well as battery efficient, no? So, yeah, getting a 15 hours from this phone is definitely A-OK. Panalong-panalo to. Then, of course, ginamit ko naman siya on a day-to-day -day basis, no? Uh, waking up in the morning, 8 o'clock, okay? So, uh, based on yung usage ko, no? On my daily normal usage, kinabit ko siya, naka-turn on ng, ano, no? Mobile data. And, of course, uh, some social media, Nanood ako ng YouTube, uh, may kausap ako sa phone, and of course, uh, doing some other tasks, so like a little bit of gaming, di ba? So at the end of the day, pagpatak ng mga 7 ng gabi, no, meron pa ako roughly, roughly 33% ng battery left sa loob ng tanke na ito, no? Which is of course, I, I can say na it's really efficient, and of course, ganito itsura, no? When you're using the phone, ganito, okay? Di ba? Pwede na tayo maging phone model, ayan. Diba? Uh, I, I think it's ano naman, no? one hand usage definitely is a good for me for mga people na one hand users no this is definitely a good phone masasuggest ko sa inyo no itong Redmi Note 11 I, I think na itong series no medyo pinilit lang nila konti for dalaga key cater for those mga people who likes to use a one hand usage of course uh, if you want to watch mga movies you want to play mga games on a bigger screen There's always other option yung sa Redmi Note 11 series, no? There's always the 11S and of course the 11 uh, Pro 5G, which has bigger screen and of course definitely a better view, no? But of course, if you're a little bit on the budget side and you want performance din, no? I would highly recommend you get this one, the Redmi Note 11, okay? So guys, uh, stay tuned for the official pricing. And I'll be posting on the description box below ang mga official links no, kung saan niyo pwede mabili itong phone na ito from Xiaomi Philippines. I hope na may natutunan kayo dito to buy or not to buy the Redmi Note 11. It's all up to you. But for me, I would highly suggest no, for people who are on the go, you want long battery life, uh, good for one hand usage, okay naman kanyang ano, no, photography. As well as you can game not on the highest level but at least on the ano, middle middle ground no yung middle graphic settings no okay na okay na tong Redmi Note 11. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here sa akin channel. And so ako nga pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Watch out!